All right. Uh, this is going to be... I'm going to say good evening, everyone, because even though I am recording this during the afternoon, um, I... I'm going to try a premiere, and that's why I'm doing this as a video rather than, say, some game or whatever. Because streaming has not worked out super fantastic for me. Oh, God, that is pretty. Um, yeah. So what I'm going to be doing is making a map... <laughs> a congressional map of New York. Oh goody, okay. Based off of the um, the cube root rule, which is basically the idea that The idea that the number of seats in Congress should be the, s the same as, or there should be a seat in Congress for every so odd people, whatever the cube root of the population is. Uh, rounded, of course, to the nearest whole number. Um, so let's say you had a... council or elected um, group of... or say a homeowners association. We'll use that as a good example with, I don't know, A homeowners association with my. That's still too many. My uh, 125 people, which is not. Oh, thank you. Uh, of 125 people, right? Well, the cube root of that would be five. So for every five uh, families, I guess, but every five people who have voting rights in the Homeowners Association, members of the Homeowners Association, you would have one representative, right? And the same principle works here. So whatever the U.S. population is, um, that's the number. So we've got 40 districts for New York that we're going to have to draw. And I'm going to try and follow, and what I've been doing for this entire thing that I've been doing is trying to keep similar areas together, but also trying to make these maps somewhat realistic to what the people in charge would actually do. For example, um, New York actually has an advisory board for drawing districts. Now, the state legislature doesn't have to listen to them, just like in Iowa. But New York tends to do it a bit more, and also, in order for the state legislature to not do it, you need a significant majority. So one thing I'm going to try and do is keep the South Bronx together, um, basically the area I'm drawing right now. Um, even though, yes, I am aware that that would, you know, some people would say, I thought this wasn't a Republican gerrymander. Why'd you draw, you know, two New York City Republican districts? Well, it, that is a reasonable argument, but the advisory board is going to try and keep similar areas together because they like to do that. For example, you keep Staten Island together, even though you could easily make Staten Island and really all of New York City just super, super controlled by the Democrats. Uh, the advisory board doesn't do that. They are just trying to draw a compact 
and reasonable uh, districts. And plus, most people, I should really have the district lines turned on, prefer to look at maps that actually look good. And I'll show you some of the other maps that I've drawn. Because there are some... I, I have drawn some ugly maps for this series, but based off of what the party in control of that area would do. The other thing I'm going to do is I'm tempted to create a mock government for this, um, except I won't be a presidential system. It'll be a parliamentary uh, system. Now I'm trying to keep the population deviation under a thousand people. Because uh, and that's for each seat. And oops. And that's because I want the deviation to be as small as possible. Because after all, we're talking about a situation where. every uh, we're talking about making sure that representation is roughly equal uh, now in the US the cube root of the population is somewhere in the 400,000 person range um, but basically it equates to uh, I think about 690 seats depending on what you do for the set depending on how you factor in the Senate I am choosing to consider the Senate to be like the House of Lords in uh, Britain. So one of the things that I'll be doing is actually kind of ignoring it um, or putting in, you know, you know, two famous people from every state or something like that just because I think that's the best way to do that. Um, now we are going to be going out towards Long Island for the next set of districts. But I, I like to do districts kind of in order. So, you know, I, I draw a district and the next numerical one, I like to have it so that they have to touch each other. I'm also going to try and keep these, especially for New York, I'm going to try and be at least somewhat um, aesthetically pleasing. Okay, good. There we go. We reached the population. So, like I said, we're going to start working over towards Long Island. Now, I, I, I will admit I am not very familiar with New York uh, geography. And now you've got kind of the general principle of how I'm doing this. I'm actually going to make this go a lot faster by adjusting the brush tool. Now, for those of you who are wondering what site I'm using, I'm using Dave's redistricting app. And... <clears throat> Now the goal of the people who created it was to 
uh, educate people and prevent them, you know, and make it so that more people knew about, you know, how gerrymandering works and to eventually get some redistricting reform going in the United States. But obviously most people are going to use this to uh, see how badly they can gerrymander a map <coughs> in favor of the party they like. That look pretty. Everything else looks pretty good. So I guess we can try and add this little section here. Yeah, and this is the problem with uh, some places is they create these tiny little precincts that are really just, you know, intersections or road, you know, a stretch of road. And it's like, really? Come on. Okay. I actually did that pretty well to get that guess spot on. Perfect. Okay. Let's try and make this look somewhat cleaned up. Looks good. That could be slightly improved. There. Uh, okay, I guess I'm gonna have to leave it like that. I mean, it's not the ugliest district, so I'll, I'll leave it. Nope. Once I finish New York City, I'll take a look at the partisanship, but I'm not really drawing this with a partisan goal. <clears throat> if that makes any sense. Because, again, like I said, this is not a partisan gerrymander. This is not designed to be you know favorable to one party or the other this is just supposed to be compact and look 
like similar areas are kept together and by similar areas I mean neighborhoods are kept together counties and cities are kept together as best as possible now that is specific to this state when we get to North Carolina on the other hand uh, the Republican controlled state legislature well they have complete control over the process and they're going to draw maps that are extremely favorable to the Republican Party. And because they control the state Supreme Court, um, yeah, they're going to... Yeah, they're going to... They're going to abuse that. And it won't even be a question of if they will. It's a question of how much will they. There we go. Okay. I'm going to put this block all the way down and we'll see if that hits the amount. I'm going to increase the brush size and just fill in this area. I do wish there was a way that, like, if you drew all the way around an area, everything that you drew around was incorporated into that district. And we're still uh, a few hundred thousand short. So let's boost it up and cover all this area up to here. I think this is kind of where... That stops. Now the other thing that you have to keep in track, keep uh, keep in mind is that uh, a lot of these maps on the site have. Um, differing data sets and that's based off of certain elections. There's a composite which is supposed to be theoretically the average election in a state. Um, however, some are more favorable than they should be to one party. For example, the composite in Massachusetts on this site overestimates Republican chances in the Commonwealth of Massachusetts because uh, Charlie Baker. I was struggling to come up with something uh, witty for that one. There we go, we're in where I wanted to be. Okay, I think this. Is about where I should be. Okay, we're gonna draw this down this line. And then I guess we'll include this as well. the brush size and bada boom bada bing there we go now it said we are still uh, significantly under but that's because there's fewer people on Long Island the farther you go out away from uh, New York City Damn it. And that's the other thing is he's, the geography of some states is much more conducive to drawing uh, horrific districts. 
And I mean, I admit I've done some of that. And I'm still, whoop, still a shocking 90,000 short. Said it is. to the district we're working on. Oops. That was definitely not the district we're working on. Perfect. There we go. So the 10th district. We'll see. Let's start by drawing a fairly long line now up to here, and I guess we'll stop here. And let's go all the way here. Yeah, we're gonna need to go a lot farther. He thinks. Once I get finished New York City, or so basically, once I get to this county line up here, for example, if I show the counties, um, somewhere in this area, I'll stop and I will um, sh whoop. Not what I intended. And I'll show you the partisanship of the districts I've drawn so far. Because I am interested. And yeah, so like I said, this is kind of basically just to replace the fact that I live streaming is kind of not really a possible right now. Because I hate saying that. <laughs> it's true because my internet keeps uh, crapping out. So we're trying a premiere and I will try to be in the comments tonight when it does premiere, but I make no promises to that. Still 40,000 short. I'm trying to do this in a aesthetically pleasing way. It's difficult, but there we go. There we go. And like I said, I, I am going to be going by county once we get upstate. Um, it's just being here in this section of New York, it's, it's a little difficult. said actually I may look at it after I finish Long Island Go. make 
this all look good. Actually. There we go, got it a little bit closer. Puts me under, but I was able to go by county. And that's Queens, and that's gonna be, have way too many people. Reasonably good. We're still sixty nine thousand short. Sixty nine. <laughs> nice. Um, I do. I, I do. I, I would really like to be able to stream obviously because it is a little bit more fun for me um, but it requires better internet <laughs> there we go <clears throat> so Long Island is finished. Let's take a look. You get rid of the precinct lines. And let's turn this on and see how it did. Wow. Okay. 12 districts and five of them are Republican leaning. But then again, you've got Staten Island and South Bronx in a district, which is I'm actually shocked that this one, which this one actually is Republican leaning more so than Staten Island. Obviously I could have gotten rid of it, but I thought it was better to keep those neighborhoods together and do it like this rather than to split it up. And I would think that uh, the redistricting commission would do the same thing or at least attempt to. Um, and then the rest, it's really just, you know, be, trying to be compact and reasonable. So, let's turn that off. Because, let's be honest, we kind of know what these districts are going to be. So, Oops. Went over. Not not intentionally, of course. Or to quote the big Lebowski, over the line. I'm not actually gonna shout it. Okay. Now these are going to be some very small districts in New York City, and that's just like every city. Yeah. Yeah, whatever. Let's keep it this way.
drop the brush size down and just clean up this district. Get rid of the some of the ugly stuff. Filling gaps like this. Still 1,000 short, that's fine. And do it like this. Looks perfectly fine. Oof. Okay, not expect that. And there we go. Obviously, we're not at the population threshold yet, but we're getting close. And bingo. All righty. set the county the rest of the county is under the threshold that obviously has too many uh, that's still gonna have way too many I bet yeah so I do want to keep Manhattan separate though because that is Manhattan Island Oops. Okay, there we go. I think it actually looks like a decent district. Oh, it was South Kings County. Oops. <clears throat> Not what I had intended at all. <laughs> and yeah, that's way too many people. Let me get rid of these. That way I can actually see the county lines. Okay. Because actually, the part of New York that is the the skyline is uh, Manhattan, and I think Queens or the Bronx. This one? Yes. That one got us close. Okay, so we're just going to do this. 
in order to make them touch where we want them to. And then I'm just going to do some cleanup work. Good. And of course that's Central Park that is that big ass thing. There we go. I think I can actually put the rest of that in district. No, I can't. Okay. this down cool and I still have a ton Certainly that. Eh, definitely don't need to adjust it any more than that. Okay. How many do we still have left? Okay. I'm going to put the county lines up right for right now. I can get a nice clean divide. Okay, so I need to start adding some areas like that, and a few like that. And we're going to do this. Still 48,000 short, jeez. Too big New York City, too many people.
Perfect. Eh, 69 over. I took way too much pleasure in that laugh. Okay. So I can actually just unassign one or two precincts. Yeah, like that should do it. Perfect. Still too many people. But we can start actually putting the partisan lean back. Drop this down, clean up what I can see. And I'm still going to be short here. But now I can drop this down, make it look pretty. I guess we'll add in this area too. I guess I have to add that stretch of water as well. Um, guess I go up here and then add this area too. Still about 90,000 short, but we are getting there. Do this maybe. And then here. And I guess we'll just make it cover both sides of the Hudson. And this little enclave here should get us there. Okay, we're within margin, and that district actually looks reasonable. We're a touch short. That's okay. Won't be a touch short for very long. Not the one I wanted, but that gets me within the margin I, I want to be in, so we're going to do that. We're a little bit short by adding that one. We're going to be over by adding that one. Do you have a spot there? We're still short, but not nearly as short. Now that we're out of the NYC, well, we're still, I guess, in the NYC Metro. But pretty soon, we'll be able to switch to doing this mostly by county. I'll be trying to minimize county splits from here on out. But we're already well over halfway to districting the state. It's all contiguous. It does look ugly, but it's fine. So let's see how this goes. Huh. So the NYC Metro. Uh, let's remove the precinct lines just so that we can look at it. Yeah, so New York City Metro, uh, 26 districts. And to remove the county lines. And six lean Republican <laughs> I 
Now this is a major city. I want to say that is, it's not Albany. Might be Schenectady? No, Schenectady is, yeah, actually that might be Schenectady. My New York geography is pretty bad if I'm 100% honest. But I do, I don't want to actually split that city up. So I'm basically just going to take the outskirts of it and uh, draw around the city. Some may say, well, why don't you just incorporate it? You're gerrymandering for the Republicans. Well, a redistricting board is going to say, well, yes, but you also shouldn't be, you know, splitting up a city. which would be what would inevitably happen. I can add that because I know it was gonna be short. Dang it. I think this one still keeps a short, that one keeps a short. Now I can't add that county. What I can do is I'm gonna well, how many is in this county? Okay. Worry about that later. There we go. that one and add that one and we're still just a bit short but because I know this is part of this little metro area I'm actually going to be adding in these precincts as well try and keep everything together uh, oops. definitely want that one here include these as well eh. could have been uh, oops does that put us I guess we'll go into this county here Perfect. I only got like 10 districts left, so I'm going to put upstate into one district, I think. Oop. Bad Ben. Okay. Since this one's already been split, may as well split it again, right? Well. Maybe not. Maybe we should just incorporate it all. Okay, still too many people. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. Perfect. Okay. And then go there. And go there. I guess go here. And does that one put me over? No, it does not. Then there. That one does put me over. Okay, we'll be good there. Is that too many people? No, it is not. It's good. Um, I guess we'll include this area. The fact that that worked out so perfectly like that is, it pleases me.
There we go. Is that too many? Nope. That does make too many, and sorry about the phone that decided to go off. I know it's highly unprofessional, but, you know. I have to keep it on just in case I actually get an important call. Couldn't incorporate all of it. I could incorporate most of it. Cool. So now we're going to do this. Actually, no, I can do this and then hit this and do it by precinct. Ta-da! Perfect. Slightly too many. Now I'm going to try to keep uh, Buffalo and Rochester um, in the same, in their own districts. So I'm going to go around them to the best of my abilities. And the best way for me to do that is to admit that I'm going to have some splits. And actually draw them uh, this way. And break my rule of trying to keep uh, districts touching the nu numerically previous one. Oh, good Lord, just end my suffering. Oops, actually that's not the worst thing that could have been, that could have happened. Nope, don't want that county split. We're gonna have county splits anyway with both Buffalo and Rochester, but Oh, I guess that is, oops, never mind. I thought I clicked that. And trying to make this somewhat cleaned up because I don't like that little hole there. Don't really like these holes. You may be saying, well, then if this isn't supposed to be a GOP favorable map, then why are you, you know, packing in the cities together? Well, I've said this again, it's more about what a redistricting commission will do, and oftentimes these commissions favor existing uh, geopolitical boundaries counties, cities, that sort of thing. So even if it winds up effectively making a map that is maybe more favorable to uh, one party than the other, they don't really care as long as they followed the principles and guidelines that they set out to follow. Uh, 
that said, one thing I'm going to have to do is I think I'm going to have to do that just so that it follows the rule of not being enclave because I'm almost positive that it would be enclaved if I didn't do that. go and we're almost there whoa yeah we're almost there we're almost halfway there living on a prayer that was, that's a terrible joke Ben why did you tell it there we go oh perfect that wound up being a lot closer than I thought it would cool oops Going by county now. Still short. Do that and then that. And then that. Nope. Can't do that. So I'm gonna do is this. that one and it's a Niagara area I think is causing that I try not to actually go into the town limits of that one nope can't do that you can't do that Shh, I mean, I can include that one, but I can't actually touch uh, uh, Buffalo. I was trying to remember which one was Buffalo, which one was Rochester. There we go. And the rest should fit there. And if I scroll back up, perfect, no unassigned precincts. Everything I know for a fact is contiguous. And some of the districts do look a little on the ugly side, I will admit. Okay, good. And then if we set it to draw by precinct. But I think overall the map does look good. Now, yes, there are a, some of the ugliness is from county splits. Like this one right here. I could have probably done that one a little bit better. I could have definitely done this area a little bit better. But I think overall, it's not the most atrocious thing. So let's take a look at the partisanship. And I expected western and upstate New York to look like that. And I kind of expect the New York Metro to kind of look like that too. Though I did expect one fewer, one or two fewer Republican districts, to be 100% honest. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen out of 40 Republic, uh, districts are Republican. Though. In a strong year for Democrats, I could see one, two, three, four, maybe seven, eight. I could see the Republicans really going down to three or four in a truly worst case year for the for the Republican Party. In a worst case year for the Democrats, because of how concentrated uh, New York's Democrat uh, voting base is, Democratic voter base is really, I can see maybe one, two flips 
so Republicans could get 16 seats at most unless they truly wallop the Democratic Party. And just to show you the only other real map, for example, if I switch to this one, it it only just makes the colors lighter because of the way the composite works. I, I don't I don't get it, but whatever. And then if I switch it to present 2008, yeah, see what I mean? Um, that said, Republicans still having control of these two districts in NYC, and one, two, three, four, that's six seats for the Republicans, yeah. Not good. Not good for the Republicans. But I think the composite is a little bit closer to uh, what the reality is rather than looking at President 2008. Anyway, I'm going to say uh, thanks everyone for watching. I hope you enjoyed this uh, premiere and it lasted exactly an hour. Uh, so thank you very much. Take it easy and I'll see you all on Monday. Bye-bye.